Introducing the SI bots, the 3D printed figures created by NPL to explain the seven SI base units and inspire an understanding of the global uniformity and importance of measurement. They've been enjoyed by many, many tens of thousands of people. How many are there? So, there are seven SI bots. It's around 94,608, around 14,062. It's my favourite SI bot because we use them all in our work and apparently the most popular giveaway because so many chemists love it. Or maybe just because it's pink. I was put in charge of printing SI bots and I had a go at stacking them and managed to stack a possible world record of nine. And this is an SI bot before it's gone in the machine. How many are there? We're thinking about the time used to make them. If we've been printing them for 5% of the time over the last 10 years at about five minutes a bot, failure rate about 10%, gives us around 94,608. No, that can't be right. Well, let's think about it another way. If we use, say, 50 kilograms of material over 10 years, each SI bot weighs around 3.2 grams, 10% failure, we get a rate of around 14,062. Mm, I don't know, maybe somewhere between those two numbers. And then there are the specials. So we thought it would be a good idea to have a kilogram cybot that weighed in at a kilogram. I was doing street busking in Guildford High Street and a friendly face came up to me who I recognised as an ex-director of the International Bureau of Weights and Measures where they keep the international prototype kilogram. So I said to him, here, what do you think this weighs? He waved it about a bit and said, I don't know maybe 800 grams. Over the years, people have said anything between 500 grams and two kilograms. We also thought, if we have a kilogram, we may as well have a gram, which is precisely 1.000 grams. And by comparison, looks so cute. How many are there? So there are seven SI bots, each a different color and each representing a different SI base unit of measurement. It's incredible that every measurement humanity makes, millions a second worldwide, traces back to just these seven. They are the kilogram for mass, the metre for length, the second for time, the ampere for electric current, the kelvin for thermodynamic temperature, the mole for amount of substance, and the candela for luminous intensity. Lovely, but what do you do with them? We take them to career fairs and science festivals and we tell people to try and stack them. If they can stack four, they can take one home and if they can stack seven, they get to take them all home. While people are stacking them, we talk to them about the national measurement system and what NPL does in the world of measurement science. We use them for our school posters and even in an app where they are augmented reality characters that interact with us. So is there like a, a record for stacking them? So my name is Arthur Vai. I'm an engineer here at NPL. And when I was an apprentice here many years ago, I was put in charge of printing SI bots. And I had a go at stacking them and managed to stack a possible world record of nine. How many? Nine. Did you use glue? No, just a lot of patience and time. I got four, so do I get to keep one? Sure, which one would you like? Hi. My name is Ayn and I work in the Energy Gas Metrology Group at MPL. So, I am delighted to announce that the mole is the most popular of all the SI bots when it comes to people choosing one. In fact, we have to print more of them than the others just to fit with the demand. A mole measures the amount of substance and is used in chemistry and biochemistry. Blood test results talk about moles per litre of concentration of things. One mole is 6 times 10 to the 23 of entities where the entities must be fundamental and identical. It's my favourite SI bot because we use the mole in our work and apparently the most popular giveaway because so many chemists love it. Or maybe just because it's pink. So there's a SI bot for the meter. Is there a bot for the inch as well? Certainly not. There is no inch SI bot. So this is the inch bot because some people are very passionate about the inch. Do you have any other shall we say, non-standard SI bots. And here's a pair of SI bots of confusion printed in different densities. They weigh the same, but they don't feel like they weigh the same. This is a Green Man Ampere because we had a science stand at the Green Man Music Festival. Christmas themed SI bots. 
UV Reactive Candela Bot. An SI prefix hat so you can convert a meter into a kilometer or a centimeter or even a millimeter or a nanometer. And this is a diversity bot. And these large table bot decorations for posh MPL dinners given with express instructions not to stack them. Why? So this doesn't happen. That's terrible. Sadly, nothing compared with what some people do with them. Hi, I'm Luke and I work in NPL's mass and force measuring group. This is the 1.2 Meganoon machine. It was designed and manufactured in the 1980s and adds steel weights one by one to create incredible pressures and forces to calibrate force gauges that then go on to calibrate things like jet engines and building foundation. And this is an SI bot before it's gone in the machine. You didn't. We did. And this is one after 1.2 meganewtons of force has gone through it. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. And we actually have bigger hydraulic force machines. One of them goes up to 12 meganewtons. I'm afraid I can see where this is going. So that is 12 meganewtons of force. So what about the future? Well, we'll just keep printing the main seven and all the other special demos that are used in our outreach. And I imagine we'll keep coming up with interesting ideas for new specials. For instance, this year, NPL celebrates being 125 years old. And so we have a 125 version. So come on, how many SI bots have been made in total? It's ironic, isn't it, that we are the UK's National Measurement Institute, but we didn't keep a running total of how many we made. And I have to say, they have had a measurable impact in spreading the word about our work and the SI. So well done.